Okay, so welcome to Violet City. Your first stop at any city should be the always self with one center, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so now let's talk to this guy with the wacky outfit. So, and here you can trade your shards for berries. You don't, um, you can't really get shards now, but later on, you can get shards various ways, and, and you can trade them with him for berries. Um, if you give him a red shard, he'll give you a cherry, pekka, and lepa berry. If you give him a blue shard, he'll give you a chesta, or a wiki berry. If you give him a yellow shard, he'll give you an aspir, citrus, and ayapa. And for green, ross, lum, and aguav. And this guy talks about the gas leaves that, in the Sprout Tower that only appear at night. <laughs> yeah. And this guy is a pretty important p person. Um, on Route 31, which is the route we were just at the other episode, you can catch Bellsprout, and he will trade you your Bellsprout for an Onyx. And Onyx is actually a very good rock type Pokemon, especially since the next gym leader is a flying type gym leader, and rocks are pretty good against flying types. So, so you might want to keep this guy in mind. Um, if I remember correctly, trade Pokemon uh, uh, always come with a nickname. I believe the Onyx nickname is Rocky, but I might be thinking back to Never Game. And this is the Pokemon, <coughs> and this is the Pokemon School. So let's check, check it out. So the Trainer School is mostly for people who are new to Pokemon games. They talk about some of the basics, like this girl talks about abilities. Each Pokemon has a has an ability that does different things, like intimidate in the beginning of a battle slightly decreases the opponent's attack power and such. There are like hundreds of different abilities and that kind of thing, so it would take me like hours to sit here and go through all of them, so. <coughs> and by the way, um, if you would look at your, to make things a lot simpler, if you would look at your Pokemon summary, it'll tell you its ability and what it does. Like my sentence ability is Keen Eye, which prevents Pokemon from losing accuracy. Which is actually pretty good. I I actually didn't check my Sentrix ability before. <laughs> Up here it talks about status abilities. I talked about this pretty briefly earlier, but yeah, poison takes away a, a, a little bit of health each turn. Paralysis each turn you have a chance of not being able to execute the the move you have told your Pokemon to do. Sleep is like a more intense version of paralysis. Frozen is also a more intense form of paralysis, except like next never happens. Uh, burn takes away a little bit of health and lowers attack power. There are also some other little sass abilities like uh, attract and curse and that kind of thing. Uh, no. Um, I think my brother told me about those groups once. It's something that has to do with Wi-Fi. Um, I'm not really sure what the advantage is of being part of a group, but I never really did it. <laughs> so whatever. And you can't go up there until you can use Rock Smash. Up here is the Sprout Tower. And we'll go there later. Now let's go into the gym. Woohoo! Yes, of course. Why else will I be in here? Huh? Yeah, so? Oh, come on. Hey, are you trying to say I'm weak? 
Okay, so you have to go through the Sprout Tower before you can challenge a gym leader. But first, we're gonna first to look around the town. This is the Pookie Mart. Yeah. I don't think there's anything in this house. I'm just gonna. Clear with fizzy strawberry cute. <laughs> so they talk about nicknames. So now I guess Bonjour. Uh no I did not. Oh yeah, I remember now. He takes you to the Pokemon Trainer School. I've already been here, thank you. Why do you put him like uh, after a trainer school? I don't know, but what? <laughs> so I guess we have to go to the Sprout Tower. <laughs> 